This is a really quick review on the Hollyland 400 Pro S. Uh, I just got it, I've been using it on shoots recently. That here, Wes is directing the Hollyland. Latency test. There you go. Blue is the receiver, red is the transmitter. The red has HDMI in port, which is the transmitter, and the receiver has HDMI out port. They both have SDI ports as well, which is great. So, main thing though, how far can these transmit and how well do they transmit and receive? It says it can transmit up to 400 feet, the transmitter to the receiver. If you're going over Wi-Fi then, it says it can go up to 300 feet. But I'm gonna Try that really quick, just a second. The transmitter can also transmit to the receiver and also transmit Wi-Fi up to two screens that connect to it Wi-Fi. If you're not transmitting to the receiver, you can go up to four phones, four screens that connect to Wi-Fi. So I just had four going on set a couple days ago, or yesterday actually. They take L batteries, which is really nice. These are the batteries they take. So it's kind of big if you have a bigger battery on it, but it also comes with an AC power adapter that you can just plug in here if you want. Only one though. I did power it on set with this. Just cause might need this audio. It works great, especially for the Wi-Fi things, cause then it, you don't have to worry about batteries. But otherwise, this is nice because you can just switch out the battery then if it needs charging. It can also charge with USB-C. All right, let's do the test. Let's test this out. Also, it connects right out of the box, so that's also really nice. Okay, let's turn this one on. Make sure they're on the same channel. The connect connecting your phone, like connecting a, a tablet or something that connects to Wi-Fi, it's so easy to connect. Just download the app, connect to the Wi-Fi first, put in the password, default password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and then it connects immediately. So it's so, they're so easy to use. I feel like that's the, one of the best parts too. Okay, so you can see it's connected now. And then the only other thing is we need. Well, we got, this one's connected as well. So I'm just gonna walk around, see how far away I can walk. How can I film all this? I guess keep going in front of the camera. Do you mind staying in front for a sec? I'm gonna film with my phone. Or Cohen's phone, and let's see how far I can go. I'm gonna be closing and opening doors too. Okay, we're going out the first door. So I'm just gonna walk around the apartment. I mean, the main problem I have on other transmitters is um, that they disconnect in between walls and doors. So that's what I'm gonna check now. Okay, so let's see, Cohen's moving. I'm gonna go in another room. Wow, the latency is amazing. On the Wi Fi as well, that's crazy. So, I'm in another room right now. I'm gonna go in our kitchen. All right, so inside the apartment, even walls and doors, it seems to be fine. I'm gonna try and leave our apartment now. Okay, let's exit. Okay, I'm walking out our apartment. Okay, it looks like Wi-Fi is already connect disconnected. Oh, yeah. So yeah, the Wi-Fi disconnected first and then the receiver disconnected, but I'm pretty sure at line of sight, I imagine they do connect really well. Cause I went, I closed this office door, I closed our apartment door and then I went down two 
stories, two floors. I've even used the tear deck before and it's it disconnects once your once walls are getting put in between and stuff like that. So actually I really do believe like the line of sight is probably like 400 feet. Maybe I'll be able to plan that another time. Check it out. I did see that some I've used and old Android phones and they they don't do well at all. They has a lot of like glitching and stuff like that. But with Apple products, it's worked really well. And then newer Android phones. I don't know. I used it on set recently and it was awesome. I loved it. Uh, I'm going to keep using it and probably even use like the, the receiver and transmitter uh, to do follow focus. But yeah, overall, I really enjoy the product. I think it's great. Any negatives, probably the only thing would be I wish the HDMI port was actually on the side, like the SDI. But I guess they did it. I mean, they prioritize the SDI port. And then besides that, I don't know, the color choice, I'd just rather not have blue and red. Just have like a big R and a big T or something on it. Because I feel like the color makes it look kind of cheesy. <laughs> Otherwise, I really like it. Um, you can see more specs on B&H. I can put that below. Yeah, it transmits 1080p up to 60 FPS. I think that's it. I really enjoy it. I like it a lot and I think it's worth it. Thanks for watching.